a light puzzle to complete, so let's get going! You know what this puzzle was missing? In fact, this entire dungeon was missing. Those mirrors that you could actually sort of spin around on themselves, like in the Spirit Temple in uh, Ocarina of Time. Anyway, we're done moving mirrors around. There's only one last step to do uh, for this puzzle, but first I'm going to show you once again. There's some pots with money in them. There's even a purple rupee, so if you're still short on money... Even though money is so plentiful in this game, well, this is where you want to. This is where you want to go. So, I'm gonna take control of Melee one more time because now you're seeing what's behind me. You probably have a pretty good idea of what I'm supposed to do. Yeah, it's in this. It's the same as in it. back in the main room. I have to use both Medley and Link to redirect the, those light beams right on those. Uh, right on those eye sun for a sun with eye suns whatever whatever i'm not even i'm not even going to try and i think i already made the yo doll joke anyway so anyway the, the the room is now fully lit up because well there's a freaking sun in there and then we had, we have now gained access to yet another room there's a dark nut in there now you want to be very careful you want to fight this dark nut on this side of the room. Try to avoid going deep. You're gonna see why in a minute. After I kill it, hopefully I won't trigger it. Here we go. Now I'm just gonna take your knife. I said I'm gonna take your knife's crest. Thank you very much. So, I think we're good. I think I can combo it to death without triggering what's beyond there. No, it's not whiz robes, by the way. So... Yeah! You're seeing it right now. Blue bubbles! This is why you want- Oh wow, it actually it did a U-turn, otherwise I was wide frickin' open. So, yeah, you don't want to fight these at the same time as a, as a Dark Nut, because otherwise you won't be able to, uh, to attack the Dark Nut if those things get a hit on you. So this is why you want to be very careful fighting that Dark Nut. And for this very easy battle, well, as long as you know what you're doing, we're gonna get the boss key, which is what we were missing this whole time to get deeper into the dungeon. So, um, I would like to say we're done with this deepest basement part, but that would be a lie. There's still one more room left to go that we unlocked right over there near the end of the last part. And uh, it's a good idea to come here because this is where the dungeon, the second treasure chart, is located. Now, this time around, you don't have to go near the, the coffins. You have to shine a light on them. For a pretty good reason, too, because there are stall foes in each of them. And uh, the fact that you're going to be moving around, getting clobbered by stall foes, means that you could end up fighting three stall foes at the same time. Which, of course, is not a very good idea. By the way, I absolutely love that trick with the boomerang and the skull hammer. I wish I'd known about that sooner because uh, there are some playthroughs where uh, this could have been really useful. But, oh well, better late than never. At least I don't get to make a fool of myself quite as often against stall foes in this run that I'm actually recording. So everyone's going to be able to see it. Arr! TAKE THAT, BITCH! So, not much of interest in those piñatas since I'm full on absolutely everything. And so yeah, just have to head back up here, shine the light on this last one. And ATTACK! Ow! Of course, this is what happens, you try to be aggressive and then it attacks you instead and... Retaliation! Sweet, sweet revenge! So, there we have the chest that contains... Well, I, I already spoiled it. It's a treasure chart. This one leads to only 200 rupees, which is still pretty cool if you're uh, still missing some money for deciphering those treasure charts. But, um... Yeah, it sort of makes sense that three stall foes would equal uh, 200 rupees and six or seven floor masters would mean a piece of heart. Because if it, if it were the reverse, I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I would have complained about it. So, yeah, good move there. Good move. 
So, now we have to head all the way back up to where uh, the boss door used to be. Sorry, I was a bit disoriented there for a second. So, um, while I do that, I was thinking about something that this game doesn't do, and as, as a result, I never got to talk about it because it's something this game doesn't do, is give you a slingshot near the beginning of the game, and then it turns out to be completely obsolete like 10 minutes after you get it. Twilight Princess did it. Uh, Skyward Sword did it as well, and, you know, that was absolute bullshit, especially when you realize, well, you're in uh, the, um, what's that, the Goron Mines in Twilight Princess, and you're trying to, uh, you know, hit that uh, crystal switch, and it doesn't work with the slingshot. You need the bow for that. First time I played uh, Twilight Princess, I was like, what the fuck? This is bullshit. Why won't the slingshot work on these crystals? And as for Skyward Sword, I guess I should be fair. The slingshot does have one use after you get the beetle. Unfortunately, it's when you don't have the beetle. It's in that stealth mission uh, in Elden Volcano where all your stuff was stolen. So, otherwise, though, I really wish the next Zelda doesn't pull off that shit because it's sort of annoying to see an item slot wasted on a slingshot that has no use past the first hour of the game. Anyway, we finally made it back there, and we're about to take on the boss of the Earth Temple. And as with all bosses in uh, Wind Waker, this one's really easy. Holy pose, Batman! That is a lot of pose! Don't know what they, what they were doing there before I came in. But, you know, VIRGIN POWERS ACTIVATE! This is Jalhalla, the boss of the Earth Temple. A very easy one, but it's also really, really fun to fight. So, if you want to do Columns of Light, you should know what to do by now. Mirror shield on it. Then you use your power bracelets to pick it up. Send it into that spike column. Charge up your hurricane spin. I hope you have it. And attack! Well, yeah, it's, it, it's sort of a shame that, you know, I think there's a limit on how many pose you can take down in one attack cycle because I'm pretty sure I could have gotten a few more of them. So just be careful when it starts attacking with its lantern and stuff like that. Let's head over there and repeat the process. It gains a few uh, more attacks as uh, you progress in the battle. I think it, it, it can try to, to uh, possess you with a belly flop, uh, something like that, but this boss is so easy that it hasn't successfully done it to me in quite a while. So! Alright! There are only five left! Pretty good! As I said, it's re it's a really enjoyable fight, even if it is very easy. Oh, really? You're gonna do that now? Well, yeah, that's something that uh, he does when he starts getting weak, is that uh, the light columns change positions uh, every now and then. But it's still nothing you can't handle. And here we go! Can I finish it this cycle? Two left! One left! Oh my god, I was so close! I think just one more pixel and I had it. Oh, come on. Don't run away. Don't run away. Yeah! I was sort of worried that uh, Jalhalla would reform itself with just that one pole. Yes, it can do that, by the way, even though it makes no sense for a tiny-ass pole to transform into a big monstrosity like that. And to quote Chugga Conroy, WHY DID I HAVE THAT INSTALLED?! Though, to be fair, he said that for that switch uh, during the final boss in the new Super Mario Bros. Wii, not for this game, but I think it applies pretty well as well. I mean, remember what I said about those pose actively seeking out those places with light columns? This one tried to escape where one of them was installed. Yeah, I've seen hockey pucks with more common sense than that. So, anyway, we're done with the Earth Temple, but if you think that's a sign that we're done with those jizz-licking Floor Masters, then you're in for a surprise. But for now, let's carry out the ritual to power up uh, the Master Sword.
which can apparently teleport right in the middle of the room. Yeah, powerless sword my ass. We just heard a flute, we just heard a choir, but there was nothing like that in the room, so where did the, where did all that come from? Anyway, apparently, the secret to restoring the Master Sword's power was simply opening up the hilt. Yep, apparently, that's gonna make it that, mu more, that much more effective against Ganondorf. But there's only one more step left until its power to repel evil is fully restored. And as we already know, we're going to have to go to the Wind Temple, to the north of the Great Sea for that. And as for Medley, we're going to leave her behind and condemn her to a life of solitude, forever praying to keep the Master Sword powered up without getting to see the one she loves one more time, including, well, her last thought is going to be for uh, Prince Komali. Please watch over him for me. Yeah, do I look like a babysitter or something? It's not like I have... It's not like I don't have some, have some more heroics to perform or anything like that. Anyway, let's get out of this place. And uh, is the King of Red Lions going to have anything to say about what I just did? No? No congratulations? Well, fuck you, asshole! Only one more thing... One more optional thing to do before moving on to uh, the next dungeon. So, well, the, these are going by pretty fast. We've already done almost every side quest in the game, so it makes sense that um, we uh, would not mu have much to do when leaving this one dungeon, especially when all uh, the only new thing we got was two treasure charts and a mirror shield. Anyway, on Square E6, Bomb Island, you can cash in on your reward for defeating that half dozen floor masters. Next destination, Gale Isle, Square A4, due north of Windfall. First, we're gonna grab the treasure here. You really, really, really want to do so because it would it would suck if you had this one under your nose the whole time and you forgot to pick it up and you had to waste some time coming back here because it is a Triforce Shard! We only need four more now. Of course, we're still missing three of the, sh of the shards. I was about to say shards again. Absolutely wonderful. So I'm just going to tag back to this island since, we're, well, we, we actually are equipped to do something about what's here now, which wasn't the case last time we were here. So as you can see, the wind is so strong, even those trees are bending, but with the iron boots, we have nothing to fear. Not even being brutally dismembered as the iron boots stay there with our feet while the rest of our body is sent careening in the sea. Now, of course, you're going to need something to destroy that thing, and what better than the BAN HAMMER! Mm! I love that thing so much. So join me next time as I try to gain entry into the Wind Temple.